Hey, what is up, you guys? I'm so glad to have you back. I hope you had an awesome holiday, having a great new year, and I'm super excited to show you some cool stuff today. But as always, I wanna start by thanking you guys for all your support. Last video's got over 10,000 views in the last week. That's absolutely crazy. The Discord's been absolutely nuts. We just had our second giveaway for a month of Nitro to celebrate 500 members. Also, I've got Lily sending me some skins for the Flipper Zero. Those will get raffled off as well, so definitely join and keep Keep an eye out. I post to everybody as soon as we have a giveaway. It's super easy to join. Join now, give it a shot to win. Last week we announced Squatchware, but this week we actually have a proof of concept. It's a fully working, fully functional, fully stable firmware. We've got it packed full with new animations, new image assets, sub gigahertz files, bad USB files, applications, we've got Doom, we've got Wi-Fi Marauder, we have absolutely everything that you need right out of the box. Check it out on my GitHub, the link's down in the description. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, it helps the channel grow, and the bigger the channel gets, the more content I can bring you guys. For today's video, we reached out to the community and asked what you want, and what you wanted from me was bad USB. So you may ask, what does bad USB stand for? Well, it actually stands for Binary Automatic Diffusion of universal system booleans. Yeah, no. What bad USB actually is, it's a device that has a firmware that takes advantage of a vulnerability in the human interface device of a computer. With that human interface device, we can actually inject code into the system and take advantage of almost anything we want. So sit back, relax, and let's check it out. We're gonna kick this whole thing off in I am Jacoby's GitHub. He writes some of the coolest payloads out there. He's Hack 5's Hacker of the Year, and he's just a genuinely awesome guy. Check out his YouTube, join his Discord, show him some love. He's a personal friend of mine. He's a great guy. Check him out. We're gonna go ahead and scroll on down here to Flipper Zero Bad USB, and the very first thing you're gonna do here is hit that star button. He's got over a thousand hours worth of work into this repo alone, and he definitely deserves all the recognition for being absolutely amazing at this stuff. This is definitely one of those situations where we're gonna go ahead and download the whole damn thing. So we're gonna go to download zip, save here, and then we will extract it. Actually popped over here, extract all, and this is the entire repo, so we can install any of these we want to. Open up payloads, and you can see all of our payloads right here. Now it's just a matter of opening QFlipper up, and we can drop those files right here. So we're gonna go to the SD card, we're gonna go to bad USB, and you can just copy and paste all of those files right here, right in there. Now, of course, I've already got a ton of bad USB on here because I'm running Squatchware, and Squatchware comes with a ton of great bad USBs. Let me just clear up some space here, and I'll show you an example of a bad USB. Now, we've got our Flipper Open and QFlipper. You can see one of the new animations from Squatchware, as well as check out the new profile picture. Kind of fun. We got the mountains in the background. Little different. I wanted to leave the dolphin in there because you can change that yourself to whatever you want it to be and we've got a squatchy mood going on. Now, this is a little tricky to show you because as soon as we go to bad USB, down here, it wants you to disconnect. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it, but I'm just gonna use the program per usual. The app itself is super simple. It's just a file structure. So all you're really gonna do is scroll down to the bad USB that you want and then plug it into the computer and select run. The first script I'm gonna show you is actually from the one and only Curanons. He wrote this a while ago, and this is the Curadon's FZ Win. This is a super cool and basic example, really showing you kind of what you can do with it. All this does is pop up a notepad screen and do some really cool pixel art, but it shows that bad USB actually can be used to implement a lot of stuff. Go ahead and close that. Don't save. Now we're gonna take a look at one from Uber Guidos. Now, this is a fun one, a lot of people like it. This is the uh, Matrix Wake Up, but I felt the need to show you guys kinda how these things work. You can see that this uses a whole bunch of different strings and delays, and basically it's just typing things out on the screen. The important thing I tell people all the time about this stuff is you really wanna understand what this script does before you run it. Pretty easy to see that there's nothing too malicious going on in here. So we're gonna go ahead and run this one. 
Gonna go ahead and click the run command and it's going. So a lot of these have a delay in the beginning, so it takes a few seconds, but you can see it's going right now. Usually this is full screen, but I actually made it windowed mode because it's a little bit easier to see. But yeah, it's running through the whole kind of introductory scene from The Matrix where Neo's sitting in his computer and uh, Morpheus is kind of, or actually I think that's Trinity, but yeah, typing into the computer, follow the white rabbit. Those are two kind of cool examples of how bad USB can be implemented, but of course, I am Jacoby doesn't just make cool stuff. He makes the coolest stuff. So I waited until the end to display really one of the cooler things that I've seen run on bad USB. So without further ado, let me introduce you to my favorite bad USB, the Hacker Goose. As soon as I run this, you'll see a long string of commands that goes into the run terminal, and then we'll see a really quick flash of PowerShell. What's going on is this is actually downloading a zip file in the background and decompressing it. And here is our new friend, the Hacker Goose. Hacker Goose has got kind of the same vibe to those old school desktop pets, but this guy's got a little bit more nefarious ideas in mind. So he's already got my Wi-Fi passwords and SSIDs, or access points for that matter. This will actually show your access points and your passwords. I ran this before and it was all correct. I did go ahead and make a few minor modifications to make sure I don't dox myself, but yeah, it definitely works. Looks like the goose is on a mission again. Let's see what we got today. Oh, we got the muddy feet. I'm gonna stamp around and put muddy footprints all over my desktop. Looks like now we've got a cool animation made by Jacoby. Definitely a good time to remind you to uh, like, comment, and subscribe to his channel, at I am Jacoby. He's got a lot of great content on there, and he's got to be one of the best PowerShell payload creators out there. Hey, now it looks like he's pulled my actual coordinates on the uh, the old GPS. Again, these are modified, but yeah, if I hadn't changed those, that would be my actual location currently. Up, oh, more muddy feet. Now, this has got a few other things that it can actually show you, but it's all random. So it could show, you know, the same thing. You could show the, the uh, latitude and longitude coordinates two, three times in a row. Again, it's all just RNG. We'll see what we come up with, but um, I can always montage into all of the things that it can tell you. It only runs for about two minutes, so it just stopped. So we're gonna run it again until we get all of the cool things, and we're just gonna kinda breeze through all this real quick. After these messages, we'll be right back. Here is my actual email address, or it would be, attached to my Microsoft account. Yeah, it pulls all that right directly from the registry and displays it for you. All right, so the RNG guides are not in our favor. There's only, I think, one other thing that pops up, and it'll actually tell you your name um, that's attached to the Microsoft account. So it, it tells you, uh, I think, four things. So it'll tell you all your Wi-Fi credentials. It'll give you your email address, your actual name, and your GPS location. Super, super cool. Definitely something that it's not unsafe to play with if you're testing it on your own stuff. But it does show you that just as easily as this thing could display those uh, those credentials to you, they could be sending them somewhere else. Now, Jacoby's on the up and up, and he'd never do that, but there's not all the creators are as honest as he is. So we'll close that down. Yeah, it's as simple as that. If you're looking for even more bad USB scripts, of course, Uber Guidos has got a ton in his repo as well. Uh, just be careful. There's a lot of stuff in there that's 
dangerous. I've straight up seen people delete System 32. I've seen them get their computers stuck in boot loops. I've heard of so many different people telling me so many different stories on Discord. Be super careful. For instance, if we go into the bombs folder and open 32 wants to D, this will delete System 32. It just will. So if you're running this, be prepared to delete System 32. But there you have it. I showed you how to download and where to find bad USB scripts. I showed you where to put them on the flipper. And I even showed you kind of how to look through the code to look for anything that might be fishy or might be, you know, stealing your credentials and sending it to somebody. Always be careful with bad USB. It's super dangerous if you're using it wrong, super fun if you're using it right. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the channel with your friends. Join the Discord. It's been a lot of fun hanging out with all you guys. Of course, you'll notice in the background, as always, we've got AI-generated art from the Cynthia bot. We take all the coolest stuff that you make, put it all together, and put it in the video every single week. So stop by the Discord and see what you can contribute. Thank you so much to everybody who signed up for my Patreon. You can see the link down below. It really helps the channel. Thank you so much for Crunch Each Peanut Butter, Aslu, and Max for being super fan squatches. Absolutely awesome. You guys are the best. We're also reaching out to anybody who wants to contribute on Squatchware, whether that's going to be by creating animations or image assets, or if you happen to know C and can code well, we've got a lot of really cool things we want to try to implement. Thank you again to anybody who's made it this far in the video. Watch another video after it. It really helps the algorithm. I appreciate you so much, and we'll see you next time.